Right now, campus concerns. A local high school hit by high levels of carbon monoxide for the second time in less than a week. And it's just a one of several similar incidents happening here at South Florida campuses. And now we're learning there are some concerns over the carbon monoxide detectors in some buildings. Local 10's Laren Livingston is joining us live. He is in Pembroke Park with the story. Laren. Speaking of detectors, Christy, follow me with this demonstration. What you're hearing right now is the fire alarm going off in this combo carbon monoxide and smoke detector alarm here. And now it's going to cycle through to the carbon monoxide alarm. It's a different alarm because you want a different audio signal to a different issue. Something this simple, apparently hard to come by across Broward County schools up until this point. Oriole Elementary in Lauderdale Lakes evacuated Monday morning due to a propane leak near the kitchen. It sent one person to the hospital. Four staff members and a firefighter were treated at the hospital Friday after a carbon monoxide leak at Cypress Bay High School in Weston. The campus was evacuated after that leak was found in the cafeteria. We also discovered that we don't have carbon monoxide detectors in our in our kitchens in our cafeteria. So Superintendent Howard Hepburn was questioned about that Monday. Florida law requires certain buildings built after July 1st, 2008 to be equipped with at least one approved carbon monoxide alarm. The superintendent says there are no codes or laws requiring them in Broward's schools. But we're going to we're going to go above and beyond just to make sure we add that extra layer of safety um, in our in our facilities so we can detect those gases sooner than later. It's shocking that none of the schools in the district has a detector. Nikisha Porter spoke with us as she was picking up her kids and grandkids from school in Hallandale. That's a safety hazard. I mean, if it's not there. Back in 2018, five people, including three children, were hospitalized for carbon monoxide poisoning at Carroll City Elementary in Miami-Dade County. Carbon monoxide detectors were installed in kitchens across the district just months before that incident. Weeks after it, Dade schools conducted a review and inspection. As things arise, we address them as they come. Um, some things are very hard to predict. At the end of the day, I hope they're trying to resolve the issue. Resolve the issue indeed. The next step we're told is getting estimates and bids to figure out how much it'll cost to put something like this, a carbon monoxide detector in all of Broward County schools, kitchens and cafeterias. How long that process will take, still unknown, but we'll keep you posted on the progress going forward. For now, we're live here in Broward County. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News. All right, thanks so much, Larry.